all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on black lover mobile so i just finished recording the stamina guide so hopefully go check it out it's extremely important video for you guys okay and now on today's video i want to talk about like all over the place uh, people been talking that season 2 noel will drop early on global more precisely in uh, 11 days i i don't agree with that and i will explain why i don't agree with that okay i, I believe noel won't drop early on global and i believe noel season 2 banner won't drop after immediately when season 1 banner leaves okay i will explain now everything i will show you the facts and the proofs that most likely that won't happen so don't worry about that uh, she will she will drop in like I would say uh, three, four weeks, but not like not in 12 days. Okay, three, four weeks, somewhere around that. I, I I'm predicting Noel release. Uh, I will show you why Noel is so broken and why she's a must-have character. And by the way, we're gonna get her uh, for free as well. But your main goal will be maxing out that character, like duping out the the swimsuit Noel to maximize. Uh, the amount of damage and everything of what, what she's capable of capable of okay um, the best unit in the game still today i believe on all versions of the game of course okay why people are telling that noel will drop after the um, seasonal banner because it says right here for seasonal one banner remaining time 11 days 10 hours and two minutes guys i will show you now canadian schedule and i will show you a jp and korean schedule and you're gonna see that every single version had the same thing okay seasonal banners were here for two weeks okay roughly two weeks in all version and that the same will be for global okay when this banner leaves and when this banner leaves it is also leaving in 11 days 10 hours in one minute we we gonna get dual banner okay it will be dual raid up banner licht and ria and dual raid up banner for fauna and veto okay i will summon i will tell you right away i will summon on licht and ria i'm skipping this one maybe i'll even skip this one but i won't because i'm a content creator i won't skip it but in theory, you could even skip this, although Licht and Rhea are extremely good. Like Licht in PvP destroy, Rhea also PvP and PvE extremely helpful for a long time. So they're definitely not like skippable banners. Like you can skip them, but they're definitely worth summoning on. That's what I'm gonna say. And then when this banner leaves, uh, this is the Canadian schedule. So this banner was also here for two weeks, okay? the same as the seasonal banner and the same as yummy banner i don't see a reason why global would have anything differently okay as you can see on canada uh, seasonal banner was also for two weeks the same like it was on global and it, on the let me show you on the jp and korean side of the game this is my video from like six months ago um, the, it was also seasonal banner and it was here for around two weeks okay so nothing is different like global has the same schedule like both jp korea and in some way canada okay there is slight differences don't get me wrong but based on those seasonal um seasonal banner and everything else we can conclude that the pattern will be pretty much the same and noel won't drop sooner this is not official information this is my opinion my prediction everything can change you know but in my eyes this is what is happening so we have seasonal banner it will leave in 11 days 9 hours and 59 minutes from now boom this banner will leave this banner will leave uh, then in that time in two weeks right we're gonna get in 12 days we are getting dual rate uh radar banner licht and ria and uh, veto and fauna okay we're getting those and then two weeks after that we are getting seasonal two characters on the on the canada they did some i, I don't know what they've done there but don't worry after after this you can expect seasonal two banners where you're gonna go for noel and you're gonna try to max her out so you want to save until then okay 
But um, you don't have to worry in my eyes. We have time, okay? They won't put seasonal two characters and the dual raid banner. That wouldn't make any sense, and it would be just too much. And I believe developers know that. Know that, okay? So just wanted to discuss about this furthermore. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go now, and ch I, I want to show you Noelle a little bit. I want to show you why she's like so broken and what she's capable of. I already discussed about her, but let's do it one more time so everything will be more understandable. Like I already said, related to the um, uh, related to the Licht and Ria, definitely uh, some uh, some unworthy banner. Also, Fana, Fana is actually really good now on JP and Korean version over time, but this banner has much more value because you have like two crazy characters in them. So that's about that. Okay, here we are on the Pridewind.gg website. So I just want to open up Noel's swim, sw swimsuit and we can discuss about that. Actually, uh, let me try to find also her gameplay somewhere. Okay, we can take as a reference here from our bro Nagato. Uh, if you if you don't you know about Nagato, okay. But he was he was playing the game uh, JP Korean when Noel dropped and everything else. This is the character. This is how she looks like. We're gonna go a little bit through this, and yeah, let me go. Yeah, let me see a little bit of PvP gameplay before we see this. Let me I just go here. So skill one. E if you have a barrier, attacks after applying weapon enhancement level one to yourself. Okay, weapon enhancement increase damage done by 30%. If you have blessing of water, um, attacks after applying weapon enhancement level two, so even bigger damage. So she's constantly buffing herself. Now, skill two grants and allies a buff using a water magic. Grants uh, a designed ally blessing of water equal to 120% M attack for two turns. Grants all allies and barrier. Like she's so broken. I, I don't know. It's crazy. Blessing Water means that she creates a barrier that grants immunity to a fixed amount of damage and counterattacks upon being attacked. Like, not only she will buff herself like crazy, she will help your whole team. Your whole team with the barrier and everything else. And look at this, grants all allies 10% increased favorite damage. Increased favorite damage done based on the element wheel. Summons a man, so this is the ultimate. Applies increased M attack level 2. So, boom, buffing to yourself and then attacks, grant yourself increased M attack level 2 for 2 turns. Okay, so she's constantly buffing. Perform, okay, if you have a buff, attacks, okay, this is the combination attack. At the start of the wave, grant yourself a barrier equal to 10% of the damage taken for 2 turns. That's really good because then you can immediately go with skill 1 and you're gonna have that applied. Uh, and then we have unique passive applies 10% increase M attack to yourself. Uh, stupidly absurd broken character. Still until this day she dominates both PV and PVP, especially PVP. So you're gonna see right now. You're gonna see right now her gameplay a little bit. Boom, AoE. <laughs> she just one shot everyone, bro. What the hell is this? She just one shot everyone. Look at this now. Ultimate. Boom. AoE. Again. AoE. Look at the AoE damage, bro. Complete, complete destruction. Absolutely love the character. And not only she give, she will give you barrier, like she will give to herself barrier, and then she will buff herself constantly. And also she can also buff other characters as well. Um, like <laughs> overall, just a broken character. And definitely a must have and you need to save for her that's why i'm doing this video so you know that you don't have to worry about it is like the normal normal pattern that we're gonna have this seasonal banner for 12 more days boom then it will be break from a seasonal banner and then they're gonna drop it after uh lift banner i mean dual banner straight ups okay Let's end the video here, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a like, subscribe. Please, your opinions in the comment section below. I would really like to hear them. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.